One of the most important things we do from an organizational development perspective is try to be proactive about um, giving people new challenges and new opportunities. If you think about what what type of team member is likely to get bored, it's your super overperformer. Like, they get started and because they're doing such an excellent job, the responsibilities on their plate become too easy for them. They can do it in their sleep. It's just not enough of a challenge. And if you're an overperformer, you want that challenge. You want to be stretched. You want to feel a little uncomfortable. If you're not getting it at the company you're at, you're going to go somewhere else to get it. So we try to have a very vigilant eye for who who's maybe getting a little bit too much in their comfort zone in the role they're in, and how can we promote them into new responsibilities? How can we give them a chance to try and learn something new so that they continue to grow and stretch themselves here and not somewhere else? I think there's a lot of things you can do to spot when someone's getting bored. One thing is we always encourage our managers, like when you're having check-ins with your direct report, to really probe on what are you most like feeling stretched by? Like what are you most, you know, thinking to yourself, if I can accomplish this, I'm gonna be like, wow, I didn't know I could do it, but I figured out how to do it, or like, I got this done. And if you're having a conversation with your direct report and they don't have anything, or they don't have enough that's falling into that bucket of, you know, things I feel sort of uncomfortable, but I think I can figure out how to do it, that's when you know that person needs some new responsibilities.